Magic 92.5, San Diego's old school. It's Magic Mornings with Jagger and Christy. San Diego, Psychic Gary Spivey here. I had to wear the black coat. It's it's really still me. I'm in white, but I had to wear the black coat so you could see me. I just wanted to tell you guys, if you think you're having a bad day, you live in San Diego. I'm in Minneapolis today. Uh, here's a little snowbank, and here I'm getting kind of all white, all snowed on. It's freezing. I'm gonna go inside and answer your questions. Follow me. Oh, this feels much better. I'm at home on my boat in Florida. I feel like I'm in San Diego, so let me answer your questions. Come with me inside. Marie writes in to Gary, my mom has been dead for four years. When it was Christmas, I was at my room alone thinking about her. All of a sudden, I felt a wind pass through the front of my face. I would like to know, was that my mom? I'm lost without my mom, please help. Maria is asking about her mom, and uh, you lost her a few years ago. Maria, here's what I see. Uh, actually, I see your mom, she says hello, and she says that that tiny breeze that breezes by you is indeed her. That's her sign that she's hanging out with you. I see your mom hanging out with you all the time, and she tells me she talks to you when you're getting ready to go in the mornings. That's kind of your quiet time. That's when she's saying hello and she's talking to you, and she loves you very much. She said she'll always be with you. She's also telling me to tell you that she likes the new decorations in your house. So I think your mom was right with you when you redecorated. Adriana writes Gary, the last two years have been very hard on our family. My husband suffered a really bad accident that almost took his life. The vibe at work got really bad. And the combination of all the things combined has been very difficult. Sometimes I wonder why the long streak of negativity. Is it something that just happened or something else? Adriana, here's what I see. Even though your husband suffered a really bad accident and almost took his life, I see him coming through this. I feel like this is going to be a great year for you guys. You guys are going to do very well. I see you getting on your feet financially. And you know, I see that you and him, especially him, will appreciate everything a thousand times more. Sometimes when you go through hardship, you do that. So I see everything coming along for you. Uh, a new money situation for him about six months in that he's gonna really love. Jose writes, Gary, I'm having some money problems. Want to know if it's just my bad luck or what is going on? Jose, here's what I'm seeing with your money problems. About three months ago, you got into a little bit of a mess and now it's catching up with you. However, I see about two months from now, you come out of your mess. Looks like you'll be fine. Miss Parker writes, Gary, I'm in a bad situation. I have been desperately looking for another job for a long time. My boss has been scheduling me for one to two days a week for the past six months and she is treating me very poorly. I know I need to get out of this job, but just can't seem to get away. Is it negative energy keeping me here at this job? Well, Ms. Parker, here's the way I see it. If you're only working four hours a day, that leaves you four hours to go look for another job. Sometimes your angels leave a place you're working in before you do. I feel like that your energy really has kind of left the building, if you would. I see you getting another job position that looks really good. The only thing is, you have to just go out and do it. You do have a bit of a victim stuck energy. So I'm clearing that away from you now. That's what I'm doing when I'm waving my hands around. And I got rid of a couple of dark energies and demon projections that come from your boss. You're going to feel a whole lot better. You'll see things are much, much lighter for you now. Feel that energy? You'll feel a little warm and fuzzy. I do see you getting a new job within two weeks if you just go try. You have to put one foot in front of the other and go try. But I do see you getting this other job and you're, you're, you, you won't believe how easy it is. It's gonna be very, very easy. Trisha writes, Gary, I left my husband for my boyfriend. 
My boyfriend and I have been friends for 11 years. Is this going to work out for us? Can he be faithful? Hey, Trisha, I believe that your new fella, even though he's been around you for a long time, is going to really work out. I think that he's more settled now, and I think he realizes that you're the real deal. Be a little bit careful of going back and accusing him or bringing up old things in the past. Remember, the past is the past. Go on into the future. I see it being really bright for you guys.